it's Talisha and this afternoon I thought I would vlog for you um, as I'm going to be working all three horses. Charlie, please stop snoring. Thank you. So the first horse I'm going to ride is Jep. Um, I'm actually riding her bitless for the first time. Like, well, first time. I mean, kinda. Uh, like, I've ridden her in a halter many, many, many times and completely tackless and just with like a neck rope but you know <laughs> first time in a bitless bridle i guess and if all goes well this will be how she is ridden forever now <laughs> um because i'm sure you guys have already seen my video from two days ago where i go into detail about me retiring her from competitions not retiring her altogether but just from competitions um so if you haven't go check that video out along with this process of not competing her anymore i am changing her gear up a little bit because of competition rules i've always been required to compete in a bit um jep's only ever been ridden in a rubber bit like with me but she is a horse that is not a huge fan of pressure in her mouth um so i always rode her in a rubber bit because you legally have to ride in bits for competing and that was most comfortable for her and she didn't it wasn't it didn't bother her but i think that she's going to be a type of horse that is more comfortable bitless now but me saying this is not saying every horse prefers to be bitless or is more comfortable bitless because both ways of riding whether it be bitless or with a bit are putting pressure on your horse a bit is putting pressure on their tongue in their mouth and a bitless bridle is putting pressure on their nose which is a very sensitive area of their face and has a very thin layer of skin both areas are applying pressure they're just different types of pressure and some horses you could never ride bitless because they can't like it's just not comfortable for them to have that pressure on their nose just like some horses uh, don't find the pressure in their mouth comfortable so yes, I believe Jep is going to be, and I've ridden her in a head collar, like I've said before, halter, head collar, whatever you want to call it, and she works really well, and I believe she will be happier and more comfortable in a bitless bridle, just because I think she would enjoy not having anything in her mouth and just having a bit more freedom in that area. But yeah, so if all goes well with that, that will be how she's going to be ridden going forward. Um, just because I want to make her... Uh, retirement as comfortable as possible so like when I am riding her which I'll still be doing pretty often but it's just gonna be fun riding and just enjoying it so not working towards anything which will be nice but yeah so I know this horse like the back of my hand um which is why I believe that she'll be more comfortable bitless today we'll show that like if I'm right or not but um like I know horses that could not deal with being bitless because the pressure on their nose would just not be comfortable for them it just like people every horse is different i am not a believer in saying one way is better than the other i think they are both good solutions it just really depends on your horse so yeah um i'm gonna start with jep so i have turned jeppy's bridle into a bitless bridle because now that she is retired i am trying to make everything as simple as possible for her gear wise and I know she works well without a bit um, obviously just for competing it was never an option so I always rode her in like a really really soft rubber bit so we're gonna try this today I've never ridden her in a like bitless bridle I've just ridden her in a head collar but we'll see how it goes
Okay guys, so I am back from Jep now and the next horse I'm going to work is Kai. Now Kai is just being lunged today. I will be lunging him with the side rein slash lunge line apparatus. Um, I've shown you guys before that on Bambi um, and I have started doing it with Kai just to encourage his contact to come up a little bit more and it's a really good system because they're elastic so they give release um, when he is working properly and yeah helps him build his top line so yeah um i'm gonna lunge him now please please <laughs> ignore all the slobber prints on my door oh and now you can see why i have them all over my door that's why my window is so dirty <laughs> what's he doing Hey, hey. <laughs> She's like, let me out. Do you want to go out, little cat? All right. It is such a beautiful day. All right, so I'm just gonna go get my lunging gear for Kai. We have a ridiculously shiny boy. Oh yes, we do, we do, we do. It's like I look good. <laughs> you look good, buddy. It's like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. He's getting more of a, <laughs> he refuses to just stand because he wants to follow me. But he's building up a lot more muscle along his top line, getting, you know, a little bit of muscle here. He's actually developed quite a lot of muscle along his neck, which is really good. So he's looking really nice there. No, can we just stand and not follow me for a second? And now you're in bad lighting. But he's starting to get a bit of a rounder bum. So I lunge on a slight hill. As you can see, he can come up from the contact if he wants. He can also reach down further, but it encourages his head to be at a certain spot where it gives release like there it's really hard to lunge with one hand by the way whoop. So I leave the head collar on underneath his bridle just because, I mean, well, no, for, for no reason. But this bridle doesn't have a nose band. And, you know, it just, it's not like it's putting any unnecessary pressure on it. It's not like it's putting any pressure on him. My lead rope is not attached to it. It's, I just do it. <laughs> so Kai has been lunged and he's trying to get the green grass on the other side. <laughs> Um, he was really good. I was very happy with him. And now I am going to ride Bambi. Now, Bambi today, I mean, I don't have anyone to film me ride, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to have to prop it up on a fence and I don't think it'll get heaps. But anyway, Bambi today um, is not going to be doing a heap of really difficult work anyway. She's been schooling a lot of the elementary work and yesterday we had quite a um, intensive ride focusing on her canter, like doing her walk to canners as well as her canter legules and canter loops, which is something, the canter loops is something that she really struggles with. Um, so we had to spend quite a bit of time on that, and which means most of the ride was pretty much her cantering. So today it's just going to be trot work and um, I'm going to do all of our trot laterals and work on our basics of the walk pirouettes and stuff like that which we've started he's been slobbering all over my hands like watch this <laughs> lick 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 but yeah so i'll be just mostly doing trot today i'll do like simple canned transitions and stuff but not much <laughs> because we did so much yesterday so bambi time to stop grazing She's so fluffy. Look at this. Look at all this fluff and dust. She's very dirty. 
You're very, 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 very dirty. <laughs> you ready, Bambi? <laughs> oh, we're off. <laughs> I couldn't film at all but we did our travers our shoulder ins and then all without this I only used this at the very end because we did the basics of the walk pirouettes and they're just a bit difficult for her to understand so just having an extension of my leg helps her and I did her walk to Canada and she got six for six Ooh, we're gonna have a bath now bath time a happy washed clean pony she's just drying nice and clean yeah okay so i am back inside now three horses are done i am so keen for all of this lockdown stuff to be over in australia they are slowly easing things back they started last friday where we are allowed to have two people over now and um they are talking about easing back some of the sporting restrictions uh, equestrian sports being one of them and as soon as they start easing back sports apparently that means for the equestrians level b because we're currently at level A, which is like the highest, which means you can only train solo and or in pairs for equestrian sports. And level B is full competition and full training. Um, obviously, because, you know, with equestrian sports, unlike other sports, it's not a contact sport and you are fairly and you are fair distance away from other competitors. Um, so competitions could be closer than I thought as long as everything keeps improving so Bambi and I are more than ready for the competitions to start back up again we are so prepared and <laughs> yeah so hopefully you'll get some competition vlogs in the next few months hopefully fingers crossed but yes um oh and if you like my hat it is from my sponsors tough rock i adore this hat like how cute is that i love it anyway so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you next week bye